Health care facilities in the United States are still struggling to find and keep nurses. As we told you, some hospitals like Henry Ford are even bringing in nurses from overseas to help fill the gaps. In a new report, the number of nurses planning to leave their jobs remains very high. Today at Lansing Community College, new nurses took part in their pinning ceremony. News 10's Tania Jordan found out how they're excited to start treating patients. Ann and David, the nursing graduates I spoke with understand that the health field, healthcare field is demanding. But today at Lansing Community College, 400 men and women will enter the medical field as registered nurses prepared, prepared to provide compassionate care to their patients. I always knew I wanted to be in the healthcare field. I wanted to be a surgeon, but I wanted more bedside care. When Jordan McCain was hospitalized from COVID-19, she says that's when she knew which route to take in the healthcare field. She says her experience in the hospital will make her a better nurse. I didn't have a great experience, and so I think just having that patient aspect and knowing um, how it feels, how patient feels when things just aren't going okay. In a new report, more than 9,000 Michigan nurses said they are emotionally exhausted. They also reported planning to reduce their clinical hours or quit. As nurses continue to leave their jobs, people like Peter Terry are stepping in. I'm general manager for Lawrence Trampoline Park, but I am now a graduate nurse. In addition to increasing the number of male nurses in Michigan, Terry shares what made him try a new career. We need more nurses and we need more great nurses. And, um, you know, getting to know the patients and their families is my favorite part so far about nursing. I just know that it's going to be really rewarding, regardless of the nursing shortage. I think that's what makes the impact just a little bit more special, deciding that even though we have these disadvantages as nurses, to be able to still go into that work field and pursue that career, I think is going to be very fulfilling for me. And some of the nurses I spoke with today already have jobs lined up at local hospitals helping fill that shortage. Back to you, David.